Hello there fellow summoners, MadDogHT here, going back into the side quest, and this is um, the legendary mode with the white compass, and the white compass can be found in the destroy all mutants um, solo objective, where you basically get points for using mutants, it's one of the early um, milestones. So I got that compass and we're going on to this path where it has a 75% tenacity. So I brought white mags and I'm actually going to use him once, but we're going to apply the, the guidance pre-fight and that's going to give us the passive stun. So we know that we can get our stuns off without any problems. And um, yeah, we're going to mess around with the little striker mechanic. There we go. We threw off uh, that Colossus and go straight in with an unblockable attack. Now, you are fully unblockable, but you do need to keep in mind that you can still get whacked, especially if, they're, if they have a special or whatnot. And, you know, I, I, I was being a little bit careless, um, and there's a few times where I do get hit where I'm just trying to wail into them with the unblockable. It's kind of fun, but again, you can still get whacked. So, um, here. We finished off Hood and uh, yeah, smashed him with Thing. And Thing is likely going to be my first rank 4 champion. We're getting close, but we shall see. Um, we're about 8,000, a little over 8,000 tier 3 alpha shards away. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get, but <sighs> yeah, we're, we're waiting patiently. Alright, so next we got Strike. So I. Um, apply the white magneto pre-fight guidance and you're gonna see some weird interactions here so uh, strife is a uh, metal champion so you can see that he's magnetized and that actually messes up with the ability accuracy of the striker uh, ability um, I didn't realize that it was technically a node. So you can see, so I had built up to that special with a bunch of prowess and I threw off the um, striker, Colossus hit him, and I thought I was going to be fully unblockable. So I just threw the special and I never got the unblockable. And you're going to see that it uh, messes up on the next time that I activate where um, I throw out Colossus. So here we go, boom, and the magnetism is preventing me from getting the unblockable buff, which is kind of stinky. So um, just keep that in mind if you're going to bring in, you know, Magneto or White Magneto or probably just anybody with some type of ability accuracy. Like I wonder if like Domino will mess it up or something like that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Next up, we have Silver Surfer, and we're going to go in with Apocalypse. Now, the one nice thing with Apocalypse is he has um, the ability to prevent champions from purifying debuffs. So I don't need to use the White Magneto Prefight to make sure that the stuns stick, even with that 75% uh, tenacity node. Uh, we can just use him as normal. And then throw throw Colossus in there every so often, boom. Still kind of a quirky thing for me, but it it's it's kind of growing on me. Um, it is kind of nice to get that unblockable buff. You can create some nice openings for various champs and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we'll see we'll see what the other strikers have to bring. But so far, I mean Colossus, it it seems it seems okay. Um, the the damage that you get from the hits from the striker uh, action doesn't seem too crazy um, but yeah there we go surfers down no problem and uh, moving on over to blade and so for this one uh, we're going to put on a white magneto I think in, in use kit yeah so I thought I thought about using uh, apocalypse but I'm just going to use a white magneto pre-fight and then I'm going to use cable and this is going to show off like how potent the tenacity node is it's 75% tenacity so I'm going to be able to get 100% reliability 
on the stuns because of the the white mags so that there you go so i i there i went in for like a quick rush in after i had launched the colossus striker right at the beginning and i got intercepted so you do have to kind of be aware of that like i that's not like the first time i think that's like the third or the fourth time where i was just trying to be really aggressive and the ai was countering it like crazy so you can see like the dgens that i'm applying on the heavy because i have apocalypse on the team with that synergy where i can get double stacks and they can stack infinitely um they they aren't sticking so here i throw off the l2 which does have a concussion and so now they will stick um but he has a lot of power so the duration of you know the degen and the incinerate um, and the concussion were, were quite short um, but yeah we get him down not a big deal but yeah got to keep a, an eye out for that blade you know tenacity it's going to shrug off buffs really fast for debuffs and then depending on how much power he has he's going to struggle them off even faster if they don't shrug off so and we'll get him down, and then we're going with Apocalypse. He's got four genetic code, um, and yeah, we're gonna wreck this uh, Medusa. Um, and then the one interesting thing is, so here I throw off the Colossus. You know, you can see that they whiff the Defender whiffs and cannot hit you coming out of that Striker mode, which can kind of be useful. And you're gonna see, so, you know, this is, I didn't check the SIG on the Medusa, and maybe I should have done that. Um, but it seemed pretty high because, um, you know, she auto-blocked right away. And now you're gonna see, so she auto-blocked again. You're gonna see when I throw off the Colossus Striker and she has um, the Three Furies, I'm unblockable and I just go for um, a special here and she doesn't auto block it. I guess she can't auto block the unblockable specials. I'm not entirely certain about that. Um, or unblockable attacks. Um, but yeah, Medusa goes down really quick. Apocalypse, rank three, four genetic code. Yeah, you just can't mess with that. So then last up, we got the Tiger Boss. It's got the Footloose with the Evade and the Unstoppable. Um, it's got the, what are the nodes? Uh, Achilles heel. We need to knock him down um, to get do damage. Rise to power. She gains power um, after you knock her down and she touches you. And then <clears throat> um, extinction protocol. So she's going to be getting stronger and more power as the fight goes on. So we're just going to go in with torch pre-fight. And I still had a white Magneto left because I used Magneto on a mutant. So I basically got two charges back. So that, that allows you to get um, more uses of that uh, pre-fight guidance ability, which is nice. So here I'm trying to get her to throw a special. And she's not having it. So I'm just like, okay, sure. We'll uh, not get all the way backed up. And we go for a combo. And then she throws, and ugh, I get clipped right at the end again. And then I try to dex out in the corner. I'm like, oh, I'm not dying to this girl for my special two, and she's dead. So there's a quick lane. Hopefully this helped. Um, go get that white compass from the side objectives and get some 500 five-star shards. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Peace.